it's amazing how we almost underestimate how powerful networking is. Like, I think, okay, like, I'm, I'm just this sort of this very average person at like at mo- at most things, okay. But I think the one thing that I that I like, well, I know that I really enjoy doing, and and I think I'm kind of good at it, is actually networking and and you know um you know connecting people and just like you know being around people and stuff like that and it is really um such a great skill to have you know and and i guess like now you said like being an entrepreneur and, and other entrepreneurs not enjoying it but for you it's just something that comes super naturally you're just going to stand out you know and it's going to be so obvious and people are going to be like wow, I want to, I want to be part of that lady's kind of community and network because I truly believe that the, um, the energy in a room sort of gravitates towards the the sort of higher energy, you know, and if you come in and you're this sort of natural networker and you're like, Hey, everybody, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. They're like, wow, who's this girl? I want to go and speak to her. You know what I mean? So it's definitely a skill that's, um, you know, we maybe take for granted. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, there's that famous saying, change your energy, change your life. Um, I went to a networking event on Friday and um, I listened to a, a brilliant talk all about raising your vibrations and your energy. And we did this really great um, kind of thing where we just had to rub our hands together for a bit and then feel the energy. And when you're feeling that you can't do something or it's not for you and you're feeling quite negative about something, your energy is going to lo- lower. And yeah, if you're going out and you're trying to get business or you're trying to market yourself and your vibrations, as you say, or your energy is really low, people aren't going to buy into you. So you do have to really kind of, and it is something maybe I do take for granted, uh, you know, in the fact that I can go into a room and, you know, get really excited because I don't go into a room with an agenda I go into a room to get curious and to bring a really positive energy and learn something and think what can I learn and who can I connect with and one of the challenges I recently gave um, a client of mine who is starting to network and is really not you know feeling quite anxious about it is to not think about who you can go and talk to that you know is to just find one new person that you don't know and get really, really enjoy getting curious about that person, asking them about who they are. You know, people like to talk about themselves and they like to tell you about who they are. And they're probably in the same position as you as re- feeling really anxious and nervous. And if you go and talk to them and strike up a conversation, it will it will be a really joyous one. And the energy in the room will, will, will rise, like you say. And I think that's just one really great tip to just kind of change that kind of perception that you might want to immediately go into a room where you know everyone and you know if you're looking for someone you know and you can't find someone you know that's really quite anxiety inducing but if you go into a room at the outset and saying I don't care about who I know I actually want to find someone I don't know you're more likely to go in feeling quite positive about that because your brain's already kind of trusting the fact that it's it's okay to go and talk to strangers and people that you don't know and have that conversation um so I think that 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 for me is something that I've always done I've always kind of made my my kind of agenda for networking to make one new connection doesn't matter why or how just making that connection with someone is really important yeah for sure I think um well we we had this uh, podcast guest on our show his name is Christopher Maher really really fascinating guy and um, he said something in the podcast that is like literally always stuck with me. And he said, your energy speaks before you do. And I was like, wow, that's so true. You know, cause you know, it. you can, you can see somebody walk into a room and they can just have this like really grumpy face on or their, their body like postures, like, I don't know, really not great. You know, their shoulders are down or slouched and you're like, oh, this is going to be a toughie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or there's somebody that comes in they're like, Hey, how's it going? Shoulders back. Um, you know, smiling and that's it. Your your energy speaks before you do. And it's like, it's such an important thing to remember for all of us. And I think that's why it's really important that we we surround ourselves with with the right energy as well. You know, if you're going into a room um, or if, even if in, in your job or in your career and the energy is not serving you, 
you don't have to stay you you know you you should surround yourself with the energy that is going to lift you up every day on the, and the people that are positive you know positivity breeds positivity there's too much negativity going in the world if you if you're feeling you know in the in, in the UK we're having a, a cost of living crisis at the moment it's all you hear about probably if you listen to the news that negativity is out there if you, all you hear is negativity naturally your brain is going to become really really negative Whereas if you surround yourself with, well, there's opportunity. And I think this comes from being in the trading market, right? We liked volatility because volatility meant we get better prices and we get opportunity. You know, if the market is just going up steady, 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 and there's no volatility, where's the value? Where Where's the opportunity? Um, you know, when the markets are crashing, that's a buying opportunity, so we like that volatility. We like that ups and downs. And, you know, I think I think kind of surrounding yourself with, with the right energy and surrounding yourself with opportunity and taking yourself out of kind of maybe your comfort zone can be super, super empowering, but it's really can feel feel quite hard to do it when you when you don't know how to or you feel stuck, maybe. Um, you know, especially when it comes to to money and wealth and and all of those things that I love talking about that a lot of people don't like to talk about necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 